Here's the postmodern world. It's the Hobbesian nightmare. It's everyone against everyone else, except it's not individuals, it's groups. The proper way to view the world is as a battleground between groups of different power. So you define the groups first, and then you assume that you, you, you view the individual from the group context, you view the battle between groups from the group context, and you view history itself as a consequence of nothing but the power maneuvers between different groups. Common enemy identity politics. It's based on the Bedouin notion, me against my brother, me and my brother against our cousin, me and my brother and cousin against the stranger. It's a very general principle of social psychology. If you try to unite people, let's all unite against them. They're the bad people. They're the cause of the problems. Let's all stick together. That's not a healthy way for society to operate. It's not a healthy way for people to think because in my own experience, very often, the views that are most unpopular are the ones you need to hear. I think something that scares me is mob mentality. I think that that is, that is, we're going to be seeing more and more of it. Your task is a very simple one. You're to look at the line on the left and determine which of the three lines on the right is equal to it in length. Only one of the people in the group is a real subject, the fifth person with the white t-shirt. The others are confederates of the experimenter and have been told to give wrong answers on some of the trials. Two. 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 The subject denies the evidence of his own eyes and yields to group influence. And to be afraid to speak and to be afraid to think and to be afraid to criticize. And it was no wonder because criticism, of course, was at least, at, at least became an offense that was punishable by death. But these things start much more slowly than that. And they start with people abandoning their, their own identities and adopting a pathological group identity. Two by two, five. Two by two, how much? Five. 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 Often, by the way, a scapegoat guilty of the same thing that the mob has been guilty of itself in the past. Knowing that they behaved in a similar way when no one was looking, but they weren't caught, and then you destroy that person. It's always worth establishing first principles. It's always worth saying, what would you do if you met a Flat Earth Society member? Come to think of it, how can I prove the Earth is round? Am I sure about the theory of evolution? I know it's supposed to be true. Here's someone who says there's no such thing. It's all intelligent design. How sure am I of, of my own views? Don't take refuge in the false security of consensus.